the vacuum, vacuum box market uh, brought his vacuum system here, and it, it works really well. As you can see, there's quite a few components to it. This, uh, this is the catch box, and they will be in that box eventually. And it has a sliding bottom on it. It's the size of the high body. And when you get, get them back, you can slide it off and, and, and put the bees in a, in a high body. Um, it fits down in the side. And he has more than one of these with this unit. So if you get one one form in there and you want to get another one, you, you just put the other box in and repeat the process. Uh, the hose connects through here. When it's down there, it, it goes from here into that box. Uh, and it vacuums the bees up with, with the form of vacuum in there. Uh, with that down in, in this unit, uh, the vacuum fits on top. And it's electrically operated. And, and uh, it, it needs some electricity for that. Uh, and Mark has an adapter for an auto boarding. Uh, transfer of the DC to AC, or a, a, yeah, DC to AC, and he can operate this from his vehicle and provide provide the electricity for it. Or he has a long extension cord if he has electric flow close enough. So that that's one way. It has has the hoses uh, that will reach, and then he has more hoses if it's if it's higher or farther, uh, which makes it convenient. There are several kinds of these, different different varieties of them. Uh, some of them use uh, kind of like PVC pipe extension though, and I think Wilford, you, you still have one that has a lot of extension pipes, yes, sir. and it can reach a way up uh, without having to climb up a ladder. Uh, and that that's a real uh, that's a real big asset. Uh, Uh, one other thing that uh, I don't have one to show you, but in the in the bee culture of uh, May of last year, there were an article in there about how if you no vacuum, uh, use a swarm bucket. Tell you how to make one. Uh, you use two five-gallon buckets, and uh, let's see if I can tell you briefly. You you uh, join you finally join the bottom of them together <coughs> with a piece of wood and, and screen wire in between them. And you, you cut the holes out of the wood and, and in the center, and then you just, and put screen in there in between and screw those things together from both sides and they're connected together. One bucket open on this end, one on that end, and then you've got to have some uh, air for the bees later. But uh, the value of this thing that I can see, <coughs> you can you can capture the main part of the swarm. If you get the queen in there, uh, you close the lid on that and then turn it upside down and and it has that screen on top where they, they get plenty of air. And the other bees in the area will go, go into that area. And when they, when they get in there, well, uh, you can close that lid. You've got a screen on top of it. Uh, and and you got all the bees there. That, that's a, Kind of a neat way, but I'm not going to build one of those. I'm, I'm pretty well through with catching most of them. Uh, I don't do that much anymore. But I, I did get one just recently. I needed one for the, to put some bees in the observation hive out the nature center, and I didn't have any, so uh, I've got one going. And, and, and so far, they stayed they stayed put and doing done well. But there's a variety of ways you can that you can catch bees or capture the swarm. Uh, you may come up with another ingenious, ingenious idea that nobody's thought of yet. Uh, so, but you need a need a container, some kind of receptacle to get them in, and uh, and bring, bring them to the or take them to the place that you that you plan to keep them. Um, now, if if they're coming out of your own hive, uh, you'll be aware of what's going on and, and where they are and that kind of. Thing.